Meg quaking with fears in L.A. Simon Farnaby ruined Meg with a 30-minute speech at BAFTA, humiliated. The UK's biggest night in television arrived on Sunday as stars of the small screen were rewarded for their performances at the BAFTA TV Awards. Marmalade Sandwich, Your Majesty? Paddington bears unexpected tea with the late Queen Elizabeth II during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations last year has won the memorable moment gong at the BAFTA TV Awards. The moment beat the finale of Channel 4 comedy Dairy Girls, when the people of Northern Ireland overwhelmingly voted for peace in a beautifully shot send-off segment. The segment was part of the BBC's Platinum Jubilee, Party in the Palace coverage, which marked the 70th anniversary of the Queen's reign on the throne. She passed away later that year and has been succeeded by her son, Charles III, who was coronated last weekend. You can watch it below. Simon Farnaby paid tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth through his wonderful speech at BAFTA. Collecting the award, Paddington franchise actor Simon Farnaby said, The moment was a farewell because the Queen is no longer here. We can only accept on her behalf and say, Thank you, ma'am, for everything. Everybody couldn't control their tears after listening to the words of Simon Farnaby. The crowd searched for the presence of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, they were nowhere to be found. Are they banned from BAFTA? What did Simon Farnaby say about Meghan Markle? The BAFTA TV Awards 2023 have drawn to a close, with This Is Going to Hurt and Bad Sisters among the shows celebrated on the night. This year's ceremony took place at the Royal Festival Hall in London, and was hosted by comedians Rob Beckett and Ramesh Ranganathan. Simon Farnaby wanted to remind the world about the contributions of the late Queen Elizabeth II and the entire royal family. Simon said that the late Queen Elizabeth II had put major efforts to bring together the nation, and she was a leading star of Britain for her uncontrollable contributions. He also thanked the late Majesty the Royal Family in the name of the British Academy Film Awards and for their valuable offerings to the world of cinema. He reminded everyone that BAFTA is in this admirable position due to the Royal Family and that they would have never accomplished all their achievements without the longest reign of Britain led by the late Majesty. He added up a few lines in his tribute speech to the Queen, pointed out that the walkout and the subsequent incidents after it by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The moment Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their walkout from the royal palace and formed the financially independent family, they suffered backlashes and attacks. Many believe that Meghan was the reason Prince Harry went against the royal family. This brought distress to the late Queen Elizabeth II. She was the one who looked after Prince Harry and Prince William after the demise of the mother, late Princess Diana. Simon Farnaby felt the need to address the role of Meghan and Prince Harry in the unfortunate death of Queen Elizabeth II. He did not take their name but suddenly mentioned them in her speech by addressing them as people who were deceitful and evil. Everyone sitting there understood that it was about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, but none of them spoke about it. Looks like Meghan has earned herself a position on the hate list of Simon Farnaby. Simon Farnaby did not speak about Meghan and Harry in any of the interviews after that. He wanted everyone to know how much of a devil traitor Meghan is, but she doesn't want to put herself in any of the bitterness. The 50-year-old actor has not been involved in any of the major controversies, unlike Meghan Markle, who has put herself in many unwanted situations. Paddington, voiced by Ben Wishaw who also appeared on stage at the BAFTA, was seen in the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee sketch. The cartoon bear visited Buckingham Palace for afternoon tea and the Queen produced a marmalade sandwich from her handbag. After the Queen's death in September, mourners left teddy bears and marmalade sandwiches among the floral tributes which amassed outside royal residences.